Hi everyone and welcome to Stardust. In today's short video, we will learn how to acquire and analyze Windows memory with Dumpit and Stardust. First, let's log in and download the Comey Windows Toolkit on the machine to be analyzed. The Comey Windows Toolkit, which includes Dumpit, is available for free for personal and educational purposes. Dumpit for Windows currently supports x86, x64, and ARM64. Once downloaded, we extract the archive which contains the utilities and then we unblock the PowerShell CLI module. We can now import the Comey PowerShell CLI module using the import module command. The source code is available on GitHub. Then we need to call the git comey api command to get our stardust api credentials. The command parameters are the client id and secret which can be found in the stardust interface. We follow up with the new comey dump file command which will call dump it to generate a local memory dump into our target directory. IS compressed is an optional parameter which enables compression of the memory dump on the fly. You can uncompress ZDMP images with the Z2DMP utility part of the toolkit. The source code is also available on GitHub. We encourage our users to make frequent periodical images of their critical assets for threat hunting. This is very useful for analysts who want to go back in time, which is not possible with log files. This feature would be a great addition to existing EDRs to enable remotely scheduled memory acquisition. Memory analysis is critical for incident response, but this is often left out due to lack of available expertise and its time of consuming nature. It can take up to two days for a manual analysis with traditional tools, but your time is a scarce commodity when dealing with attackers. Fortunately, there is a faster and smarter way to achieve this with Comey Stardust. This can be achieved by uploading the acquired image via the user interface, or as we will see now, by using the CLI command, send Comey dump file to upload the image directly to Stardust. The Python CLI also allows to upload and archive the memory images to your AWS S3, Azure Storage, and GCP storage accounts. Let's fast forward and go back to the Stardust interface to see the results of our automated analysis. We will now navigate to our snapshot list and wait until our freshly uploaded image appears. Behind the scene, we have several detection playbooks which are running against the uploaded images to automate the analysis. Once the analysis is finished, we will see the results. In this case, several section names have been marked as unusual for one of the processes. We can also see the suspicious process relationship with other processes in the tree view. That's it for today's video. Thanks again for listening and check out our website for more information.